thou to the Lord thy God. Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Right now, we're reading that God has only chosen a special amount of people to be chosen to himself. But you got a one minute for one minute to so learn and ask me after the through Bible, just one minute. Read. Above all people. Did it say equal to? Above all people. So God has chosen one specific people to be above all people upon the face of the earth. Read. That are upon the face of the earth. So all this equality that the so-called blacks and Native Americans be fighting for, God do not want equality. God said one nation of people are better than other people upon this earth. We'll prove that even further. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 1. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God has given us stipulations right now. He said we should listen to him diligently, read, to observe and to do all his commandments. That's the key thing. We must start keeping these commandments. That's one thing we're going to stress all throughout the segment, to keep the commandments. Read, which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Did he say equal to? On high, above all nations of the earth. So it's time for us to realize that there are one particular nation that's higher above all other nations upon this earth. Read. And all these blessings shall come on thee. And so God said right now, all these blessings will come upon a certain people. Let's see who God was talking to. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. We're about to find out right now who God wanted to be above all nations upon the earth. Bring it out. These, Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. To who? All Israel. What is the Islamic man? All Israel. So all that Abraham's garbage stuff that we've been learning, Christianity, God is only was talking to the Israelites. That's right. He wasn't right. talking to no Jehovah's Witnesses. He wasn't talking to no so-called Muslims. He was not talking to so no so-called Jewish people. Right. He was talking to the Israelites. Right. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Let's find out why the Israelites are not high above any nations right now. Come on. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. Now God is giving the flip side. This is Moses speaking. Right from um, the most high game. Moses, they used to say to the children of Israel. Now he's giving us the flip side. Read. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God said, if y'all don't hearken, the root word of hearken is here. Just like we're saying right now, if you do not hear God's commandment, we're going to stay in a certain situation. Brother, you got one minute of time to learn your history? One minute of time. We're just showing our people who we are. Just like right now, people will not hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments. Right now, our people refuse to keep God's commandment. God said, do not buy, definitely don't sell on the Sabbath. We're not doing that right now. That's why we're going to stay jacked up. Read. Bring it out. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses. That all these what? All these curses. I've never heard of a thing called a curse that was a good thing. As a matter of fact, I've never seen a so-called black Native American or Hispanic scribe in all the things that they do because you know why? Because we do not keep God's commandments. So that that's what right. curse. What curse does a people? Read out. out. All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these curses are coming up on the so-called blacks, Native American, and Hispanic. That's why we so jacked up. Let's find out what type of curse. Read. Curse shall thou be in the city. They say curse shall thou be in the city. You look around. Right now we on Canal Street. Around Canal Street there's nothing but guilds, hoods, projects, full filled up in these car in these cities. We as a people, my brother, you got one minute of your time. We're just going over our history. Oh, I'm, emails, sir. I'm sorry, sis. Do you have any I'm for a month. Understood. As you, if you got time, read. And curse shall thou be in the field. Curse shall thou be in the field. As a matter of fact, you think about all our people. Who was cursed in the cotton field? Who was cursed in the sugar cane? Who was forced to pick cotton? But we didn't benefit from that. Us? Us? Why do you think they came up on us, sis? Why do I think that they yes. came up on us? Uh -huh. Because we feel that like the white people felt that like they had more power than us. You said the white people feel like they have more power than us? What I'm going to do is I'm going to start back at the uh, top of the verse. And we're gonna I ain't going to say white people. Right. I'm going to put it like this here. 
They felt it as like, if we want to make someone like it, we had to build our foundation by feeding our family. That's the way they had to do it. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you a few scriptures real quick. I'm going to get you a few scriptures, and I'm going to let you know what we do, because I know a lot of this probably ain't familiar with you. So, so you're going to pay for us so you can give me? Yeah, I'm going to give you a flight without a doubt. Just stay with me for one second. Read this. Listen to this. this Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 8. Uh -huh. So they read in the book, in the law of God, distinctly. So what we're doing right now, we're reading, and reading this book of the law of God, distinctly. It's different. So then, read. And gave the sense and caused them to understand the reading. So what he's doing right now, he's going to read it, and then I'm going to give you a sense. I'm going to break it down for you. Because the question is, why do you think the so-called blacks and Native American Hispanics are standing and giving them a speech? We're about to show you real quick. Read what you got to do to write Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. So this is Moses speaking to a group of people, a group of people called the Israelites. Oh, my bad. He said, this will come to pass, meaning this will happen. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. What do you think hearken means? If you don't listen to the, if you don't hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, what do you think that means? When they say hearken, it means hear. So God is telling, Moses is telling people right now, if you don't listen to God, he's going to do something to you. Read. To observe to do all his commandments. So God is saying, you got to observe to do all his commandments. Read. And his statutes, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So he said, if you don't listen to me and do all these commandments, I'm going to jack you up. In, so, in lame terms, see what I'm saying? He's like, if you don't listen to me, I'm really going to mess y'all up. We're going to find out how. Read. Verse 15, verse 16. Uh -huh. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Now let me ask you this. Is curse a good thing or is that thing a bad thing? Yeah, curse. show you that exactly in the scripture what you just said. Now, when uh, Moses was speaking to the children of Israel, this curse, I've never really heard of a good curse. I've never heard of a good curse. But this curse right here, this is bad. He said, curse in the city. You think about this. Like I said, if you look around, we got the fifth walk, we got the sixth walk. You know, you know what I'm saying? So, it's like we in the hoods. So, to speak. that's curse in the city. Read. And curse shall thou be in the field. It said, curse shall not be in the field, like I asked you earlier. Who was forced to pick cotton? Curse in the field. That's still going be thy basket and thy store. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 47. I'm going to show you something real quick while we so jacked up and we're about, we about to show you exactly how we get out of this situation. Where y'all We uh, right now, we um, right here. on the, uh, uh, in the east. We? I'm standing here. It's on the fly. Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 47. Because Thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart. So, 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 what's your name, sis? Who? Rotunda. Rotunda. Okay, now, now right now, what we're trying to do is we're trying to paint this picture for you. Moses is telling the children of Israel. See, I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm gonna be real with you. Really? I'm gonna tell you to be real with you. Like, see how we out here right now? Like, I prefer to take y'all class like we show. I don't this know. is the class. I know, but this I don't class like, right I don't here. Like, like, I class. Listen, understand what I'm saying. Like, I'm being real. I don't really know how to read. All right. The Lord, the Lord make it to the point where I understand. That's I'm why we read you near my chapter 8 verse 8. You understand? I'm not going to understand everything that you say. Uh -huh. This all I'm trying to get you to understand. I'm trying to come to y'all class. Uh -huh. Like when y'all have y'all class like in a building or whatever, I will, I will do what y'all are doing, but I want to, I don't know. You want to understand, right? Yeah, I, I will really need to come to y'all. You said your name is uh, Rotunda? Yes. Sis, how you doing, sis? My name is Solomon. My dad is a preacher. Your, your father's a preacher? My brother too. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, look, check this out. The reason why we're out here is because the so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, the people that are on this side. Do you see yourself on this side right here, sis? All right. Because just like you said, you, you said, uh, you, you, uh, as far as the reading and everything, you know what I'm saying? And, okay. All right. Check it out. This is where I'm going to get from. 
This is what they said. This is the tribe of Judah. This is these are all the names on this side where God calls the children of Israel. Right? All the names on this side are the slave names that was given by our oppressors. So they call us the American blacks. Right? So the American blacks will be considered from the tribe of Judah. Right? The tribe of Benjamin. From the West Indian blacks. Right? The Levi, the tribe of Levi will be our Haitians today. So let's say for example with your father. Where's your father from? He's from New Orleans, but like, like, where's his father from? Would he be considered like an American black man or like, is, he, is he from Haiti or yeah, like, American black man. okay, so that would make you from the tribe of Judah, sis. That would make you from the tribe of Judah because the Bible says, let me get down to Numbers 1 and 18. Because the Bible actually says that you are what your father is, all right? And the Bible proves that, okay? Let's prove that. Numbers chapter 1, verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees. Okay, now pedigree. Normally, whenever we hear pedigree, we say that, you know, uh, we know that by like uh, dealing with, with dogs and stuff like that, right? Okay, but that's born based upon your bloodline, right? We? After their families, by the house of their fathers. By the house of their who? Of their fathers. The mother ain't got nothing to do with Of their fathers. So based, it's based upon who your father is. So, so you are what your father is. So we guess what? Not to cut you off, my uh, dad a preacher, but my dad is never claimed. You know, my daddy acknowledged me when he had a preacher. Uh-huh. My friend passed away January 19 on my birthday. His funeral was February 1st. Right. 16, uh -huh. and I'm a forgiving person, you heard me? So I forgave my dad, and I'm still willing to get that relationship. Well, all oh, praise you, because you know what I'm saying? You're doing actually what the Bible says for us to do. You know what I'm saying? We're supposed to love yeah, our brothers yeah, and our yeah, sisters. Yeah. You know like what I'm saying? Mama, and those that... If you think about it, my mama, she deceived. Your mother died? Yeah, my mama, she passed away from yeah, eight. Yeah, my father, I mean, my father and my mother died, so I understand how you feel. But I ain't, I ain't, I ain't like, I don't, I don't, let me tell you something, like, uh -huh. I put it like this here. I know my mama deceased. Uh -huh. I know my mom in a better place. Okay. My mama always told me, like, times when I pass away, just always remember I live my life, so I'm willing for you to live your life. Okay. Now, do you know what the meaning of life is? Sis? Do I know what it means? The meaning of life is. Do you know what the whole purpose of our life is for? Bring it out. I feel as like our life is something like, put it like this here. See how I like how I walk? Uh-huh. Don't tell them what I, how I was on the bike. Don't uh -huh. tell them what I was about to get myself. I was going to the bus stop, but don't tell them what I would have got myself into. Well, let's check this out. The Bible actually gives us the definition of what the meaning of life is. All right? Read. Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. Uh -huh. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Uh-huh. Fear God and keep his commandments. Do you know that's the meaning of life? That's to fear God and to keep his commandments. Let me get uh, Sirach 19 to 20. Bring it out. Bring it out. Okay? Because to fear God, right, we have to understand what that means. When that says to fear God, okay, am I supposed to just, like, walking on eight shelves, I don't know what to do, I don't know where to go, but I, God, please tell me that he's not talking to me directly. But he's talking to me through these books right here, these words in this Bible. Listen up, sis. Hold your feet real quick. Hold on. Read. Rock chapter 19 verse 20. The fear of the Lord is all wisdom. So the fear of the Lord is all wisdom. Now let's find out how you gain that wisdom. Right? Read. And in all wisdom is the performance of the law. It's the what? In all wisdom is the performance of the law. Now, now since you said your, your, your father was a pastor, your brother too, right? Okay. Right? So are they teaching you to keep God's laws? Say, to be honest, my brother always said. He tell you to keep God's laws? What, so what are the laws that he told you to keep? Man, my daddy don't talk. My, my brother always tell me, like, the same way I'm talking, man, I'm talking to the Lord. Uh -huh. I, mean, I might not him, but he gonna show me signs, and I gotta take heed to them signs. Okay, well, you know that there are laws that we're supposed to be keeping. Right. That right. the churches and the preachers in these churches are not teaching us. Bring it out. Guess what? Not to cut you off, 
Like, I know my daddy. I know my daddy is a preacher, but I know what my daddy did before he became a preacher. Uh -huh. So I know for a fact, you still was like, I'm not judging my daddy and nothing like that. Like, but you supposed to. But listen, no. I put it like, how can I judge him? I'm not the Lord. I'm not God. The only one he has to answer to is the Lord. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. I really have to go right here. I really have to go right here. You got to go? Yeah. Well, let's check it out, sis. I'm uh, not trying you... to miss my bus. I'm not trying to miss my chain. I got to get my chain on this job. Okay. I apologize. I love y'all. But, but, but sis, you know we got to keep God's law. We got to keep his commandments. Okay? All right. Now, I see you got on pants, right? Do you know that women are not supposed to wear pants? No. Did you know that? That's a law in the Bible. You're supposed to wear a dress at all times. But this is my life. When I put it like this, not to cut you off. This is the most hard life. He allows you to have it. Hold on, listen, listen. Okay, I mean, what's up, brother? Listen, just feel me out. Feel me out. Feel me out. I mean, I can hear you. It ain't gonna change what these words say, though. I understand what you're saying, but you're not listening to me. Okay, but I mean, you're talking, but you ain't talking in the altars of the Most High. Listen, I'm understanding the Bible and I'm understanding what you're saying. That's all I want you to listen. Okay, listen. Listen, listen. Gay. Keep this up. I'm uh -huh. gay. Uh -huh. But I'm going to leave you with this here. No, don't just, this, don't just this, say this, that and leave. Listen, I'm not about to leave you like that. I have to go take him my business. Uh -huh. I don't know what the Lord has in store for me. That's why I'm not in a relationship. But I can tell you exactly what the Lord has in store for me. Right. And you know what that, that's going to give them? What? They're going to get death for that. Well, you know one thing? Let me tell you this. It's, sir. The most high God is going to kill no. if you don't say it. Yeah, you cut me off since we got to let the scriptures look come out. You, look how you coming at me. If I wear jeans by me being a woman, that's death. That's, 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 that's death. That's not death. That's you can't judge me. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So cross dressing. That's why the brother thought you was a man. If you had on a dress, he wouldn't have never said, hey brother. Right. And you wouldn't have never had to say, no, I'm a female. Right. If you got on a dress, he would never, obviously, he would never uh, confuse you with that. Bring it out. He was a dude that had on a dress. You are not supposed to be cross-dressing. That is the law given by the Most High God of Israel. That's right. We, the woman, shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. We, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So men are not supposed to put on dresses. Men are not supposed to wear what a woman wears. We, for all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. You are an abomination to the Lord thy God. Guess what? Let's get Zephaniah 1 and 8. Let's find out what's going to happen. Because there are penalties for women wearing pants. And all you women walk around here with pants on, if you don't repent, God is going to judge you for it. This is the recompense. Read. Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 8. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice Three. that I will punish the princes. You going to do what? I will punish the princes Three. and the king's children uh -huh. and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. Strange apparel is pants. Women in pants. Women are not supposed to wear pants. Well, that's, right. that's what the Most High God said. That's right. Not my word. So, if you want to continue to walk around in bed, and you want to be gay, guess what? Be prepared to receive your recompense if you don't repent. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, Please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.